you're fighting. Yeah, you want to still listen to music. You still have an urge to go to the club. You still want to smoke a little weed to just calm it down and just get rid of that stress. But instead, you fight that. You fight that urge. That's the jihad and nefs. You say, no, I'm not going to do that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, I'm going to sell my record collection or get rid of it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, I'm not going to have this girlfriend. No, I'm not going to go to the club. This is strictly for the sake of Allah. I, I want that. I'm inclined towards that. I like the females. I want to get with them. But no, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake, I'm going to push that aside. For Allah, I'm going to push that aside because my nafs, they're telling me to go ahead and go with the flow, go with what I know. But instead, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you get rid of it. That ahabati fillah, that is jihad and nafs. And that's not a single event. Don't think you just got rid of your record collection. It may come back to you in a year. You sold all your records. And now you still have the urge. Maybe you were a good DJ. You want to get back on the, the pedestals, the wheels of steel, as they used to say. You want to get back, you want to start DJing. You remember those days of glory. So it's going to come back to you. It may come back to you after five years. I know people, personally, who after many years, they studied in places of knowledge. Then they came back. And the shaitan, they were tried with a fitna. And they, they, didn't, they didn't make it. The shaitan came to them. Their nefs came to them. The test overtake, overtook them. The jinn from amongst the men and the jinn came from them. The shayateen. And they went back.